All right. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to try something today that I'm kind of excited about. My wife's really excited about. She's tired of being the person you know, that cranks the thing up and down while I'm driving the car. But it, based on everything they gave us and everything I've read about it and the instructions, this might be the easiest upgrade we have made so far. Hanging the mirror on the bathroom door might have been more complicated. Um, I can't wait to try this. It looks like it's going to be crazy easy. Um, what I'm going to be doing, of course, is I'm going to be replacing this hand crank um, uh, tongue jack with a power ju tongue jack. It's going to be a, a Libra 3,500 pound capacity uh, jack. Um, I don't know why I got one that big. It, it, honestly, the, I could have gotten one for 2,500 pounds, but it was like $10 less or something. It wasn't. It. it, it it's not, they're not more expensive. And I thought, well, maybe someday I'll. Uh, I'll sell this RV and I'll get a big one and I'll swap out these jacks you see and sell the this one with with this thing or something I don't know what I was thinking I probably won't bother doing that but um, we're gonna we're gonna trade these things out and uh, it should be real I, I think it's going to be so easy that I don't even have a camera person there nobody's watching me I have no adult supervision and I'm gonna do it are you ready okay here we go it's real simple take out these three uh, bolts here and take that thing away and put the new one in and put the three bolts back in and then hook up the wire how hard can that be all right um, let's get to it Almost done. The kit that I got for this came with nuts and bolts and lock washers and a whole bunch of other stuff. But alas, uh, here they are, and I could do that. I could put those all in there, but my tongue is already completely tapped to receive these. So I'm gonna put the same bolts back in that I just took out and see what happens. Now there's a chance that what will happen is this won't ground properly. The uh, negative ground part of the electrical system won't go through the uh, trailer hitch here and then come up through here in order to run this this power jack. We'll just have to find out. All right. Okay, those are torqued down pretty good. All right, now it's a simple matter of hooking up the electricity. All you have to do is connect this wire back to the positive. And of course, the positive on your marine battery has a post on it that uh, has a nut on it. All right, next thing we have to do, of course, is just hook up the power to it. Now, this one comes already pre-stripped, ready to go. A lot of things will. I happen to have a, uh, uh, a lot of piped wire connectors. You can buy one quite easily that we're gonna put on here. That'll make it just drop right over that nut that's on the battery. It'll go right on here and crimp down. Like so.
All right. The reason for these videos is to learn a lesson. And here's the lesson to be learned. Put this back inside the jack just as soon as you're putting it onto the tongue because it might not be able to fit in here like this once it's in there to go underneath. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to loosen this up, raise this up, put that in, and then it'll all be done. I hope you guys appreciate that I didn't have to tell you how I messed up and didn't put this in <clears throat> as I was lowering this down into there. It would have saved me having to take these off, raise it up, and stick it back under there. That's why I do these videos so you don't make the mistakes that I make. I'm a beginner at this stuff. I'm learning along the way, and you're learning with me. I'm not the expert. I'm the guy that's going to mess up and show you how you can mess up. Thanks for watching. Hey, please subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it. Please comment. Say, oh, what a doofus he was for not doing that. Or, wow, thank you. I would have done that too. Or whatever you want to say. It's okay. Thanks for watching.